out from Alaska. Uh, Yomi, I'm not sure, and uh, I really like his name, uh, Seal Choker. Yeah. It's an uh, interesting name. <laughs> So you were going to see the strategies they go in with. They're not being too aggressive so far. I like seeing that. They're trying to move in and out there. Yep. Uh, Yami with a good point to start off. Yeah, Silchoker went for a stab, but uh, his hand got beaten and just got... Uh, and yeah, that's uh, interesting. Let's add a nice stab into the hand. Another point for Yami. Yeah. Yeah, Seal's being a bit more uh, passive here. He tried to get a cut to the head there and force a double, but right. it didn't quite pan out. That, well, there's that one-two combo Zero loves, but uh, Yami actually doing a good job of fending it off. He wasn't able to capitalize, but that was still a good defense. Yeah, that was some uh, nice blocking. And uh, G-Man says he has 70 hours, and I'm like, what? <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, uh, uh, maybe... Alright, then you're professional, you're just inborn professional in this game, probably G-Man, you have like the cat senses for this game, you know, you, you see yeah. uh, where it goes, so if you get like 500 hours, I, I see you like just invincible, but uh, please don't do that, <laughs> Le leave some competition oh. for the rest of us. Uh. It is worth noting that it doesn't really count, like if you're on someone's parsec, right, it doesn't count those hours on Steam, so yeah. he probably has more hours than it seems. Yeah, he's playing against people then, uh, of course. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm sitting at like 400 something, close to 500, so... Yeah, but, sh but you're hosting, so that's as well yeah. additive, but you you're learning as uh, watching as well, so <laughs> I would not yeah, ca ca count it out. Yeah. If you count the hours I have on Parsec, it's probably something like 500, so... Yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, actually, Seal Choker kind of got back uh, with the points. Uh, he went out. Now he could not finish the job, and uh, yeah, gets stabbed again in his uh, rib. Might even Good penetrate the, the heart. Stabs there. Yeah, so I give credit to Yami for that. That's not easy sometimes to land those stabs, even for new, even for uh, not new players, for a uh, for a pro player. So I seem not Yami to some... be able to land those but... thrusts like ever now. I used to be able like reliably, now it's like for me do not work anymore. I stopped even using them. That was interesting there. I thought the cut hit the arm, but Seal Choker was able to ignore it and then get two cuts in. Yeah, Laszlo is a bulky guy and he has a fast recovery yeah. as well, um, so that uh, gives him an edge yeah. and like if he gets hit so he can uh, re re tribute uh, faster. Is that a word? Retribute? Uh, retribution. 4-4. <laughs> four, four. Uh, Seal Choker evens it out. It seems he found the range and... Uh, yeah, having a little bit better time now. Yomi must a little bit adapt to his fight style and a nice counter. A block into a nice slash. Very beautiful. Uh, okay, I guess... Still trying to get a... Oh, he gets it that time. Laszlo stab, his lunge there. It's either really effective or it's really ineffective. It, there's usually not an in-between. Yeah, it, it either misses and makes you like really vulnerable or it hits and uh, kills you instantly. <laughs> no, no matter where it hits. Or it hits you and then you like um, survive, but uh, you can usually like uh, follow it up. Yeah, Seal actually getting an advantage, I think, for the first time in this uh, match. He was doing a good job of baiting, as Peklo stated there, and he's adapting well, I think. It, it looked like he was getting dominated at first, but he's yeah. doing a good job now. Yeah, now he's a little bit dictating the pace uh, of the fight. Getting a little bit of refreshing, and as well, if you're thirsty, guys, uh, get a little big cup of water, because... Water is important, and that's actually nice. first round goes to Seal Choker. Congratulations! But uh, the uh, maybe battle won, but war is not over, and uh, it's still best of five. Yeah, the thing about when you see new players fight, they often don't use the advanced combos that the pros will sometimes use. So, and there's nothing wrong with that. You just see a uh, a scrap of the basics, right? The sort of basic attacks. 
and it's and good and it's nice to watch in its own right actually you can get some really good exchange exchanges like when you i guess when you think about it though like when you're using saber characters right when you see the exchanges where it's like cut parry repost cut parry repost you're usually just using the y and the x cuts anyway right so yeah it depends on the situation. Sometimes you do want to just stick with the basics. Wow, what a defensive play. <laughs> he just blocked five attacks, six. Damn, Yumi showing some defensiveness. Uh, gets yeah. hit but does not get killed. Yeah, Yumi's been doing a good job of that, actually. But damn, that blocking was Have like... Now, now, like, now maybe <laughs> nerf Isabella, like... <laughs> Yeah, it was the reverse of what G-Man posted. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you a guess. G-Man posted this meme where Laszlo was just casually blocking everything Isabella had, but we saw the total opposite two times, I think, in fact. Oh, there's another time there, just blocking those two fast cuts. Yeah, Yumi has some, uh, something in his defensive playstyle that, um, I don't know. But he's not stay. throwing enough cuts, that's the problem. You can defend all you want, and those were really good defenses, but if you don't retaliate, you're eventually going to get hit. Uh, I hope he's not dealing with some lag uh, there. They're both standing, is everything okay guys? Or is this a bait strat? Oh, it was a bait strat and it got a double. Yeah, they will stand each other. <laughs> yeah. Even pros do this, so there's nothing wrong with that. I like Sometimes the... you double, that's how it goes. I yeah, like that yeah, they both went for a bait strat and both are just standing there and like waiting. Uh, very nice uh, to see. Him. And yeah, that, if you yeah. watch like real Hema matches, like with masters too, you sometimes do see that they're both they both have some kind of bait strat going on, but they both mistime it and end up stabbing each other. Sometimes that happens, right? Yeah. So it's kind of funny when it does happen too. <laughs> Well, so far we got into more passive fight. Uh, first one was a little bit more aggressive. Both fighters kind of got a feel for each other, got a feel for their characters, and they're choosing uh, a different fight styles, playing it smart. Uh, still yeah. very straightforward for uh, movements from feet. They're uh, going back and forth. Uh, very um, uh, well, nothing fancy so far. Not a lot of back steps. Uh, very straightforward. Yeah. Uh, but still, if it works and is effective, uh, why not? Yeah, exactly, and I think as, as a new player, that's probably how you do want to play it, too. You don't want to mess around with combos you don't know or understand yet, right? You want to just stick with the basics and make sure that sword is in your opponent before his is in you, pretty much. That's yeah. Yeah, what matters. Sidestepping can give you an open openings in your opponent, but as well, it can uh, open you up. Like, one, one of the things uh, I like against Alexander, like... Like uh, trying to backstab him from the left side. Uh, mm. Like as you do it, you're probably opening yourself up as a, any like saber character as well. Your backside, so mm. you're like trying to get an, a better angle. You expose yourself all the time. Yeah, <laughs> that is always the thing to be wary of. But you know, as long as your blades in your opponent and you are not in any danger, you've defended yourself properly. That's what matters at the end of the day. Being fancy, I mean, it's good to be fancy sometimes, but I, th I think even for pros, you don't want to focus too much on that. Mm, but there are some, can be. yeah, there are some, there are some bread and butter combos though that you definitely do need to learn that a, a new player probably won't have mastered, right? Like Gideon's thrust, for instance, Lazlo's cut into thrust combo, that kind of stuff. <laughs> Uh, Jimin has a good point. Uh, style points over flags. Um, I do agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jack I mean, as well. <laughs> it, don't get me wrong, though. It is satisfying, especially if you get a move that's usually stated to be useless and you pull it off in a tournament. That's always a lot of fun. Alexander has this really crappy faint move where he exposes his body and then he's like, whoa, right? And it's, I guess it's supposed to trick his opponent into thinking a cut is coming down. But of course he Oof. cuts from the leg instead and crouches down. But... Yep. Oh. It defeats the purpose, because the game announces that it's a feint, right? You know exactly what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, please Kubal, take that uh, thing out of the game. It's really not needed. Feint is a feint. Feint is meant to trick, not like to expose. <laughs> bruh, bruh. You know. Anyway. Uh, 
It's, yeah. a, it's a very even fight so far as we've been speaking, so that's really nice to see. Yeah, Yumi got uh, unlucky with few uh, leg swipes and uh, some ex getting exposed, but um, yeah, still anybody's game. Yeah. Oof, cut downward, preventing that stab from getting the kill. <laughs> yeah, Yumi. <laughs> yeah, this man's guard. Yeah, Yumi knows how to defend himself. I think if he was a bit more assertive of some of his cuts, like he'd be a really formidable Isabella player for sure. Yeah. And we're seeing a little bit of that now. It resulted in a double, but that's what sometimes happens, especially against Laszlo. Uh, yeah, definitely. He has the sword way up and uh, straight goes down into the head. So, and does a lot of damage all the time. Yeah, that guard, uh, um, I can't remember, I was watching video about but I already forgot. And Seal Choker secured the second point, and uh, yeah, now uh, Yumi yeah. is fighting an uphill battle, it's best of three, like if he wants to win this one, Yumi, he needs to adapt, uh, switch uh, switch up uh, with his strategy and play better. Let's see if he can do it, or Seal Choker gonna continue uh, analyzing, uh, breaking down uh, and getting better. And, um, Absolutely. Okay, is it a switch from Yumi? No, N or is Maybe. it? Maybe it is. The Yazuk. Okay, I think Yazuk's a good choice. I don't know how familiar Yumi uh, is with Yazuk, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah, it's a, a stable picture, similar as well. I think Yatsik has a little bit uh, better guard uh, than uh, Laszlo, but Laszlo has high uh, damage capabilities so this is gonna be uh, uh, anyone's battle but as I said Yumi gets the first blood yeah actually it's probably an easier character to use so I do think it might be a good pick yeah but we'll see Ooh. yeah it was already uh, you <laughs> chill choker was going into attack and uh, attacking into it was not a good choice especially with a downwards left attack uh, yeah, because uh, Shield Shocker is using uh, using mostly uh, upwards a uh, right slash, and that's uh, that's the bread and butter for a slash. But as I said, he gets a downward right slash and uh, gets the armpit. Good hit. Uh, Yomi, uh, I'm sorry. He misspelled it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sometimes misspelling. Uh, it happens sometimes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you, he's now yummy. <laughs> he's not yummy now. He's yummy now. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, goodness, this is oh. interesting. Uh, I think uh, Yumi wanted a grapple kill there, and then Seal was like, nope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but they uh, were in each other's faces, but not throwing any sort of <laughs> offensive move. It was a little bit funny because there was anybody's kill if anybody right slashed in there, I believe. Uh, it mm -hmm. was already like everybody was in the kill especially range. <laughs> yeah, especially if Lazlo. Yeah, definitely. Okay, still Joker just standing his ground. Yeah, both are a bit passive, but there's nothing wrong with that. Good job on Seal's part there for seizing the initiative there for the two cuts. Yeah, left, right worked out uh, like a miracle. Yeah, only now like found out about, about oh, this left, again. right combo. <laughs> well, a pause, that is a very unfortunate moment to pause the game to. I hope there's no lag. Try not to pause it when you're uh, in the middle of an exchange, even if you are lagging, it kind of ruins the pace. Okay, I think maybe uh, disconnect because it hit I like Yami a, is uh, having issues. Yeah, I'll check quickly. Yeah, Yami has disconnected. That is unfortunate, but we can get him back yeah. in. So I'll just uh, send you another link there. Uh, Jimin, I'm gonna tell you. I think why it's because uh, their footwork is so far like is uh, very like straight forwards back and forth. So like in back and forth matchup, your guard is very strong if you're like facing your opponent like straight forwards. But as you're st side stepping and switching positions, that's where the uh, dead angles come up, and uh, that's yeah. why I think his guard was very strong in that. Uh, <laughs> In that instance, and is very strong in this instance. Very this in this instance. Yeah, because when you move into Laszlo, Laszlo can reach around your guard and hit you, right? Yeah. I, I would think backing away, though. The thing you can back away as well, and his cuts aren't as threatening. The problem there, of course, is he might catch you for stab. So you just gotta be wary of that. But generally, backing away 
or staying still is better than moving forward against Lions Blow. Ah, yep. And yeah, it's match point for uh, Seal Choker. Yeah, he still needs uh, an, uh, has an uphill battle. And that's yeah, a okay, that's an interesting <laughs> spot to pause, but it was during the kill, so we're all good. That's a that's actually a good pause point right there. Uh, very <laughs> I think somebody wanted to see that. <laughs> yeah, Yazik looking very happy with getting that cut there. Love it. Um, okay, let's move on to the fight, though, guys. Yep. And it's 3 3. Um, yeah, the music is over, and I guess I'm gonna leave uh, it Feel free to use that for a thumbnail or something if you ever want to do that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, don't be shy. I think I tried to print screen. I think that was, but I don't remember this team button to make uh, small uh, photos. Like, print screen and windows on, for me anyway. Oh, then I think it probably did uh, properly. Well, you, we got the footage though, so you should be able to get some kind yeah, of. Yeah, it's fine. Good image for that, yeah. Alright, I'm turning back on the game sounds, it was always turned on. Uh, well, now we're gonna hear the clangs. Actually, I'm kinda sad that uh, it was not before, but oh well. Oh well. Yeah, the fight's been fairly even so far, but Seal has a slight advantage. Backing away, ending up with a double there, in fact. That was a good try on his part, though, to try and back away and get a cut. Uh, out the four, ha uh, ha ha, good one, Mr. score. <laughs> Oh, I think yeah. I think first time I heard that one, I actually like pressed it like it was like what the fuck. <laughs> oh, it was funny. Uh, first People time still fall it. for that, which is amazing. If you don't know the combination, like all the four, uh, what the fuck, <laughs> and then you're like, <laughs> oh, that's what it does. <laughs> yeah, first time for everybody. Yeah, Seal is getting a good advantage now. Only needing two more. Stab attempt. It doesn't work. That. The specific retreat splash he's using seems to have a very limited reach. I think he should, he should probably do the Y one. Yeah, Y, y is very y. fast. Uh, very fast and very strong. Or oh, good angle already yeah. could have been punished, but uh, yes, sadly Yami did not uh, press it and gets uh, Steel Choker needs one more after a nice stab. Yeah, very yeah, sim similar the... style, like 0-0 uh, stabs and uh, good slashes so far. Uh, yeah. so. That's been uh, Yami's problem so far. The defense has been great, but if you don't retaliate, then it doesn't really mean a whole lot in the end, despite the skillful blocking we've been seeing. Yeah, and so, as, uh, as well, Seal takes it. going into opponent's trap uh, while he's always backing out and you're always pushing mm -hmm. and uh, attacking, it just uh, left you open. And um, Seal Choker, congratulations on your first USFC victory. And Yumi... Uh, you did well, uh, but uh, better luck uh, next time. Yeah, keep at it. Uh, there's definitely that, obviously, that new players tournament. So I wish you all the best in that one. I want to see a lot of new players show up, and we, I think we have 12 people at the moment. So that's actually a really good turnout considering it's exclusively new players. So yeah, good to see. Yeah, community is growing. Uh, more events than uh, maybe more people's gonna start hosting. And it's always uh, the more uh, the merrier. All right. So next one is Mistcore against Mekich uh, Road. Another uh, two new guys. Uh, another exciting uh, new guy fight. Uh, so yeah, I got a message. I'm gonna check. Uh, okay, it's you, me. I missed a core against. Ah, I see. Right. 